Hey guys, how's it going? Um, this is going to be a review of Transformers Generations uh, Rhinox. And uh, obviously we're just going to start out with the packaging. And on the front we got a really cool looking piece of artwork depicting Rhinox there. Uh, we just got some logos and other stuff uh, on the side. We got a Maximal logo down there, a continuation of the artwork. Pretty standard generation so far. On the rear we've got product shots, tech specs, bio. Uh, some more logos, and uh, another little shot there of Rhinox the toy, and uh, that's pretty much it. That's the packaging. Anyway, let me go ahead and grab the toy, and I'll go ahead and adjust the camera here, and make, make a little adjustments. There we go. We can see him real well, and I have to say, uh, he looks really, really, really nice in beast mode. I mean, that definitely looks like an organic rhino um, looks really good um, he doesn't have a whole lot of articulation in this mode he's actually very G1-esque as far as articulation goes but you know what I really don't care because it looks really nice uh, they did an exceptionally good job at making this look like an organic rhino anyway um, his back legs can sort of move uh, they're not really designed to but they can. Um, the uh, front legs are a little better. You can push them forward some. They don't really go back, but you can. Plus, you can kind of you can rotate it at the knee, but it doesn't you know bend. Um, his jaw can open. You know he can have a conversation. He can say, "Well, Optimus, I'm not sure about that," or whatever the heck you, you know. Ha ha. Whatever he would say. But uh, pretty overall really neat you know I definitely like uh, definitely like the way this guy looks really nice looking uh, beast mode anyway I'll go ahead and grab his uh, assortment mate here whirl just for a size comparison two voyagers together um, you know they're roughly the same scale obviously you know this guy's more compacted down this guy's more stretched out but they're roughly the same mass actually feels like Rhinox weighs a slight amount more than, than Whirl in hand. Um, here he is with uh, the only other Beast to Wars toy that I have, unfortunately, and that is good old Waspinator here. And I think the two of them scale together pretty well uh, in both modes. Here they are, obviously, both in Beast mode. So, um, yeah. Anyway, let me go ahead and get Waspinator to the side here. Um... That's more or less going to wrap up his uh, beast mode uh, overall. I really do like the way it looks. He's not well articulated. Plus, he's definitely a shell former. Uh, but I can see why they went with that decision uh, with this toy. It actually makes sense given the way, you know, uh, the robot mode is plus, you know, what they had to do for his alt mode. It, to it, it actually totally made sense. So anyway, that's pretty much going to wrap this up. I'm going to go ahead and pause right here, and I'll come back with his robot mode. All right, guys, here we have Rhinox in his really cool uh, robot mode. We'll just go ahead and start off with a uh, few size comparisons here. Here he is with uh, his buddy Waspinator here, and obviously, as you can see, Waspinator is a lot smaller, which, well, he darn well should be, because, uh, well, you know... In this show, Waspinator is a lot smaller than Rhinox, so those scale together exceedingly well. Get him out of the way. Here he is with his assortment mate, uh, Whirl. No real big relation there, but Whirl's taller than him. Whatever, right? Anyway, now it's time to just talk about the figure itself. Um, he looks really flipping awesome uh, in robot mode. Uh, I think I oh, let me just just camera there guys just bear with me here I think uh, they did an exceedingly good job uh, with the look of this it is extremely in my opinion very 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 show accurate um, the main flaw with this figure though is pretty obvious from uh, from what you're seeing there he's rather back heavy and he does not have big heels so he likes to go backwards a lot that is my biggest complaint about the figure. Um, if you pose him with his arms out and holding his guns, it's not so bad, but that's definitely a flaw with the figure. That's 
really the biggest flaw. Other than that, this thing is almost, you know, it, it, it's flipping awesome. I mean, he looks, if you, he looks incredibly accurate to the uh, show model. Um, I know people talk about, a lot of reviewers have noted uh, his head sculpt, his lips not being thick like on the show, but that's a really small complaint. He's got dual maximal symbols there on his head. Uh, his head sculpt overall looks flipping awesome to me. Um, this whole figure, I mean, he just looks great in robot mode. Um, as far as his articulation goes, it's pretty much what you would expect out of a modern-day Voyager. Uh, he's got some foot articulation going on. He, of course, bends at the knee, rotates there at the top of the leg, forward, back, in, out. Uh, he doesn't have any waist rotation due to the transformation, but that's a... Well, actually, he can if you lift his uh, this piece here. He, he can have some waist rotation. Uh, of course, goes all the way around at the shoulders, you know, in and out, bends at the elbow, doesn't, ro oh, yeah, he does rotate at the elbow there, um, his hands, uh, aren't, don't really have much articulation going on due to the transformation, uh, his head's on a ball joint, so all directions, uh, overall, you can get this guy in some really cool poses, it's really, you know, pretty easy as you can see except for his um you know standing uh his the only main flaw with the toy is the darn standing uh he of course does come with uh the twin chain gums chain guns i said chain gums chain guns of doom i'm just gonna let them rest here um here they are and uh, they got little levers on them, and they, of course, spin. Pretty cool. And uh, we'll just have them wield one in each hand there. And that looks great. I really, really, really like that. That is exceedingly cool. Um, that, that looks great. Um... This is a really, I would say, uh, despite his few flaws, this is a highly recommended toy. If you can find him for a reasonable price and you are a Beast Wars fan or a Rhinox fan or whatever, do not hesitate to pick this up. Uh, it is a really cool toy. Highly recommended. Um, is he perfect? No. Is he really good? Yes. Um... I'm hoping maybe they'll do an Optimus Primal and Megatron next if we're really lucky. Voyager scale would be fine. I think uh, that's a great scale for these guys. Anyway, uh, that's pretty much going to wrap this whole thing up. I hope you enjoyed watching. And <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed watching. <laughs> there he goes. Fall. I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I will see you next time.